Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about glamorous looking eyes. All right. And uh, as you can see, I have a full face of makeup already on. Concealer, foundation, eyebrows done. I have some contouring and a little bit of blush. I have not done anything to my lips because I have a lip balm on. I'm going to wait until I finish my eyes so that my lip is plump. Let's get right into the video. thing oh and the only thing i have is a makeup revolution makeup revolution london palette is the only is the only palette i have so i am going to go ahead and use that today to create this look the two brushes which i have are the ones you already know this is the one which came with the palette this is the one which i bought otherwise the first thing i'm going to use is a transition shade it's called the buffer which is a nice creamy color. I'm going to start applying it all over my eyelid first. Now, as far as I've used this palette, the only thing I've noticed is that not all the colors are pigmented and there are a lot of shimmers. There are very less matte shades, but there are more of shimmers here, which... Mm, if you guys are interested in watching me do a swash of all the colors, that are there in this palette to see what kind of pigments are there and how they transfer onto your skin. Let me know in the comments that I can do that for you. I'm still using the same shade. I'm just trying to cover the whole eye with the shade. I'm also buffing it towards the outer corner. I am trying to buff this particular color even outside the crease line. Right. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the brown shadow. I'm going to tell you guys what it is called, maybe somewhere here. All right. And I'm going to start or concentrating it more towards the outer corner of my eye. So if you want to build up a product onto your eyes, you will have to dab it. I hope you guys can make it out. I'm repeating the same step on the other eye now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush with very less product. I'm going to start swishing it towards the inner corner. But I'm focusing more on the uh, upper part, like over the crease line kind of area. I'm not doing it towards the inner because I'm going to try putting in a different shimmery shade there. So you can see the motion I'm using is I'm pressing the brush at this corner where I have the powder more and then I'm going to push it towards the inner corner in this motion so that it tries diffusing it a little bit. If you feel like you don't have enough product, go ahead and take the brown more and buff it up here like I'm doing. Now that I have pressed it over here, I'm going to again do the same motion with whatever is left over on my brush. I'm going to repeat the same step on the other eye again. I'm going to take a purple shade, which is called as Drama Queen. I love it a lot. That's why I know the name of it. So I'm going to use it again on the outer corner. So I'm just building it over the brown, which I've already placed. Now, when I say purple, it's very dark. It's almost like a brown color. Like, let me show you guys. See, this is the brown I used and this is the purple I'm using. So it's it looks very light here on camera but when I'm gonna apply it on my eyes it's gonna look really dark I'm 
I'm going to repeat the same motion. And if you see like over here, you can notice I have a little bit of the product which is like, like weirded out. I'm going to go ahead and use my hand and it's very simple. That's it. I'm going to repeat the same purple shade technique at this side as well. Right, now that I have both of my eyes done, I'm going to do the same technique on the lower lash line now using the small brush I have. I'm going to do the purple first. So while we're doing on the under eye, I'm just going to make sure that I merge this and this part together here. You see? So I've drawn a very thin line at the bottom lash and that's all I'm going to do. I'm repeating the same step with the purple on the other eye. At this step, I'm not getting both of the colors towards the inner corner yet. I'm just going to leave it bare in the inner corner that you can see. I'm going to use my fingertip and I'm going to pick up this particular shade. I don't know what the name of it is. I'm going to put it up here somewhere. I'm going to first dab it in the center of the eye. So if you've noticed what I've done, I've put the gold first at the center so that it concentrates more there. And then I've dragged it towards the inner corner of my eye first. And I've also pushed it a little bit on the outer corner so that it looks a little faded out. I'm going to repeat the same step on the other eye. And you'll have to be careful, I am not rubbing the shadow on either of the sides. I'm just concentrating it on one side and then I'm dabbing it so that it moves around. And last but not the least, I'm going to use an eyeliner to draw over my eyes. I've drawn a very thin line. I'm drawing a slight wing as well. I'm repeating the same step on the other eye. And do not forget to join the inner corners as well. There you go. All right, to complement that, I'm going to use a brown lipstick. That's the final look. I threw in some mascara and that's it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, mention something in the comments below, share my video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification button so that the next time I post a video, you don't miss it out. Thank you for watching. Until next time. You guys are interested watching me do a swatch do a swatch swash if you repeat this oh my god you dumbass first thing i'm going to use is a um